Hey, how's it going, man? This is Ray with Kazaki.com. Here to report on Spike Lee's Chirac trailer sparking controversy in the Chicago community. Many in Chicago aren't too pleased with the trailer for the simple fact that it didn't accurately portray Chicago. Many artists from the city's hip-hop scene have been very vocal about the short too many preview. And man, I'm not one to judge a book by its cover, but the trailer for Spike Lee's forthcoming base film titled Chirac did not scream Chirac. I mean, everybody knows Chicago has its own lingo accent, swagger, just just overall culture that's been mimicked and copied and imitated around the entire globe. And I didn't see that within this particular trailer. I mean, come on, man. The trailer also appeared to have this satirical, comedic, just cheesy element to it. It just seems inappropriate given the seriousness of the violence, you know, the pain and suffering that occurs within this community. I mean, just a day before, a nine-year-old little boy was shot dead on the south side. And you know, that that type of tragedy should not be taken lightly. You know, first off, we see Nick Cannon playing a gang leader. You know, getting Nick Cannon to play a Chirac gang leader. It's like when they got Braxton from the Jamie Foxx show to play Spyro in Original Gangsters. You know, we just didn't take him seriously. Uh, and that movie was set in Gary, Indiana, by the way. But um, from my understanding, Spike Lee chose to base his Chirac film off the ancient Greek play Lysistrata. You know, the concept isn't new. You know, the play was adapted into the film A Miami Tale starring Trina. And there's nothing wrong with Spike choosing to add an urban spin to the play. But it's just not cool to exploit Chicago in doing so. And people in the industry know Chicago is popping right now. You're starting to see people from outside of the city trying to set up shot within the city. And Spike clearly knew the only way his film would get attention is if he based it in Chicago and used the controversial Chirac term. And, you know, there's a lot of power behind that term. And let's be real right now. Let's get real. Spike Lee would have gotten criticism with whatever direction he chose to take with this project. That's to be expected. There's a lot of people that are just mad because he used the term Chirac to begin with. But I'd rather get criticism doing the right thing than not doing so at all. But honestly, Spike Lee is one of my favorite filmmakers, and uh, Bamboozled is one of my top favorite films. But uh, we, we haven't seen the film yet, so I'll hold my official critiques until the film actually comes out. And I would like to hear you guys' thoughts or opinions on Spike Lee's Chirac trailer. Let me know. I also have a link in the description for you to check it out. Be sure to subscribe for updates. Thanks for listening.